Hey guys, Jared Wesley here of Live Traders for a weekend review. Okay, today is Friday, May 25th, 2018. For the last several weeks, the last month, I've been showing you guys how you can make money with small levels of risk. $50 risk per trade, $100 risk per trade, $200 risk per trade. And ultimately, guys, uh, I'm going to go to three, four, five hundred $500 risk per trade. June 1st, I'll go to $300. July 1st, $400. August 1st, $500. And what you're going to see is how... You're trying to make one to one on your money, two to one on your money every day, okay? So at a $50 risk, the goal is to make $100 a day. At a $100 risk, the goal is to make four or 200 a day. At $200 risk, to make $400 a day, okay? Now, you're gonna see this week, I made about five and a half times my risk. So I was risking about $200, a little bit less than that, and I made over $1,000 this week. Now, some of you go, oh, $1,000 isn't that big of a deal. Well, guess what, guys? I made it in an hour a day. And here's the kicker, here's the beauty. If I wanted to make $10,000 this week, all I had to do was add a zero to my trade. So for example, I took GPS today with 600 shares, I take it with 6,000 shares, okay? AVGO, instead of 200 shares, I take it with 2,000 shares. So instead of making 1,100 this week, I would have made 11,000 this week, which would have been $500,000 a year, okay? So scaling up is not the problem, guys. You're still gonna take slippage like you do on, on small risk. You'll take a little bit more slippage, but you can scale up when you do that. So that's my goal, guys, is to show you real trading with my account number open, my order ID fills. You can see it in front of you. I'm showing my whole account there, okay? I see a lot of these other companies out there, they act like they're trading live, but they're not. You can't see their account number. They're trading simulator. 99% of everybody else I've seen out there, even the ones that look transparent, they're lying to you. I saw one guy do a trader review review for 45 minutes in 2017, how he turned 500 and some dollars into 300,000. It's a lie. I use trade review. I know exactly how it works. I can see the holes in it. Guys, you're getting lied to out there. That's why I'm trying to be completely transparent and show these things to you. Again, I don't have, I don't fly around in private jets and I don't drive Ferraris because I don't make money. Okay, so you guys can see it here. And again, it's not about making $1,000 this week. That could be $10,000 a week. It could be $100,000 a week. It's just scaling up. You have to have the account size to be able to scale up. So I'm showing it to you from a small level because when you're new, you're gonna have a smaller account. You're gonna risk smaller amounts of money. But as you gain experience, you're gonna risk more money, okay? So I hope you enjoy this review, guys. You'll see me trade the open live right after I finish talking here, okay? And then after that, at the end, I'm gonna show you each day and how much money I made each day. Guys, in the last three, four weeks, I've made 18 times my risk. So if that's $100, that's 1,800. If that's $200, it's 3,600. If that's $500, that's like eight or 9,000 bucks, right? Guys, you can make good money in this business. I'm trying to give it to you straight from somebody who's been there. I've been doing this on Wall Street and for myself over the last 15 years, okay? If you wanna learn from the best, you learn from Jared Wesley at Live Traders. I hope you enjoy watching me trade the open next, okay? Have a good one, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. Stick around for the trading the open. Okay, guys, we have about a minute before the open. All right, about a minute. Uh, let me take a quick look at Ross, Aaron Jones. Um, Ross, you know, at 79.20, you can watch. It's near a lot of support. I saw that earlier. Guys, I want to reiterate, okay? I want this, I, I don't want anybody to be left behind on this. GPS, I love it under $30. I am absolutely concerned about the rising 200 period moving average on the daily chart of GPS, okay? But at $30, uh, there's a good chance I'm gonna trade this off the open, okay? Under 30, we're probably gonna to have to give it a wide stop. The negative about a wide stop is a really good day is about $1.50 for this thing. We're probably gonna to have to give it 50 cents off the open. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna to have to give this thing 50 cents. I wanna think about a 30 cent stop, okay? I wanna think about a 30 cent stop on GPS. Autodesk is going the other direction for now. Um, deck is hanging out. Deck is gonna be spready in there. All right, here we go, guys. So. All right, so get ready for the market open, guys. Here we go. I'm probably gonna place an order for GPS off the open, guys. This thing could turn around on us very, very order quickly, guys. Filled. GPS, guys, short it, all right? See, there it goes. It's turning around quick, guys. So 
I'm gonna put my stop at 30.49. I got in this thing really way too early. All right, you can see I'm in it. This is probably a little too quick. So GPS 30 by 30, 40. Okay, if it comes back, if it comes under the whole number, which it has not done yet, by the way, um, I'm gonna add shares. Order filled. All right, and lower my stop, guys, to the high of the day. I'm gonna use 30, 30, 35. That 200 is gonna be a problem, guys. In fact, it's probably gonna tag me here. Guys, watch Nike, watch Nike, okay? Watch Nike. We can get under 30, we might have a chance on this, guys, if we can break 30, all right? If we can break 30. But that 200 is gonna be a real pain in the neck, guys. That 200 is gonna, we could still easily stop out on this thing, all right? Um, use, yeah, that's fine. Come on, break 30, baby, break 30. Come on. All right, there we go. Order rejected. Order filled. Okay, all right, guys, I just took, we just got a, uh, for me, a 30 cent move, okay? For me, a 30 cent move, because I got filled early on this. Um, guys, put your stop to 30.15. 3015 on the stop. 3015, okay? 3015 on the stop. Okay? Order filled. Guys, I'm going to I'm going to take this thing at 2960. Go to break even, guys. Go to break even. Order filled. Go to break even, guys. All right? Break even on GPS. I don't have time to type it in at the moment break even on GPS. We'll try to get the half number. All right. Stop to break even on GPS. Try to get the half number like 55. Okay. Try to get 55 out of it. So we can get one more push down on this thing. One more push. Come on, baby. One more push. Why it does that? I'm getting out most of my shares, guys. Order here. filled. I only have 100 shares left. I'll set the bracket on it. Um, it'll be about a one R gain. I didn't get all the shares I wanted, honestly. Um, so it's going to be a one R gain on this, guys. Just a quick one R scout. All right, I was hoping to get more than that, but I ended up having a 30 cent stop, guys. Um, have your stops at even, guys. Have your stops at even. Okay, I'm at 30.01. Have your stops at even. Um, this thing went, I got filled at 30.05 somehow, but this thing went 40 cents for me on a 30 cent stop. But I only had 600 shares of it. I didn't get a full lot on it, okay? Um, all right, let's move on, guys. Order filled. All right, I'm out, guys. My average is 29.81, but I got in at 30.05. Okay, so out, here it is, in. GPS at 30.05, out at 29.81. It's actually 80.8. All right, so three quarters of an R, quick snack. This thing could really drop. Um, Nike is Nike is failing here. Um, you know what we gotta watch, guys? SPLK, I bet you it's spready and whippy and a real pain in the ass. SPLK. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it, under 113, SPLK. The long list, except for BMRN, guys, BMRN. Um, watch BMRN, guys. The problem with BMRN is the daily resistance at 93, but I like the relative strength. All right, look at GPS coming right back down, guys. That's good. It only went up to 3003, so it tagged me by literally two pennies. So I hope for you guys it comes back down, but it literally tagged me by you can see it right there by two pennies at 30.03. Um, so in truth, guys, we should have not made any money off this. None. My plan says at 1R, go to break even, and that's it. And instead, I took some off. Guys, I like BMRN. I'm just worried about the resistance. So look at BMR at 91.80 by 91, guys. BMRN 91.80. By 91, guys. Um, you know what? Let's try that, okay? BMRN, 
9180 by 91. I'm typing it right now, okay? BMRN 9180 by 91. Okay, guys, BMRN is an $0.18 cent spread, okay? BMRN has an $0.18 cent spread. Just FYI, just want you to know, okay? Just want you to know. Um, all right, yeah, Exop doing a nice job. The one I'm a little bit kind of, well, Zoe's is lower. There goes that SPL. Guys, look at um, Exop, and we just looked at all the shorts right now are getting tanked. SLB lower, Exop lower, GPOR lower, OAAS lower, OAS lower, um, Zoe's lower, and look at GPS right back to the lows, guys. I follow. I followed my plan other than the fact I took some off. Um, we should have actually made no money on that. Should have made nothing on it. Um, the negative on BMRN, guys, simply the resistance. Let's take a quick look, BMRN. Um, I think, guys, you know what? Let's do, let's do. Okay, hold on for it. 91.55 by 91. So BMRN entry, 91.55 by 90.00. Share size for slippage. No way you're getting out of this thing alive, guys. All right. The fill over 50 could be ugly. Share size for slippage. I'm share sizing for like 60 cents. Okay, I'm gonna put my order at OO, and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna add 10 cents of slippage in that thing. Okay. Um, wow, look at deck just pop back up pretty good. I'm expecting a pretty crappy fill on this thing. Big volume spike came in a minute ago. Went up to 50. I'm tempted to kind of start that order actually a little early. Um, order rejected. Right now, I'm, I'm not seeing anything, guys. I didn't get anything. What the hell just happened? What happened to my order? Did you guys get anything? I just got nothing on that thing. It's popping very, very nicely here. What the fuck's going on today? This week, guys, I've been skipped three times this week. I don't know what, could you guys just see that? My order like literally disappeared. It literally disappeared. And we'd be getting out right now for Target. Yeah, I'm just saying, exactly, Mark. We'd be getting out right here for Target. Like, I just got, it just cost me 300 bucks. And I have no, I can't explain what happened. I want to go back to my orders and I want to see like, all orders. See it? It got rejected somehow. I don't know how. Look at it. It's right, right there in red. Rejected. No idea why it got rejected, guys. Anybody? No buying power issues, nothing like that. I have no idea, but you can see it right there. My order got rejected. That's a first. Okay. Wow, did you guys see that thing right there? That was a quick one. Pop, drop. Guys, GPS, if you held it. If you held GPS... Doing a great job. It was the favorite gap. GPS doing a great job. Um, Yates likes MRO on the short side. Under point fifty area. It's got room to drop. Keep an eye on it. And guys, I'm not seeing a ton of stuff I like except for AVGO. I'm, I'm keeping a close watch on that, but I don't like the fact that it keeps coming down to the lows. All right. Um, but AVGO is, is really my kind of my favorite watch at the moment. It would be, we could probably try 246. Share size for a dollar, but get in uh, at 246. You know what I mean? Uh, so we could probably do that. Uh, man, look at that hip, guys. It went down 75 cents. What a perfect pattern. Um, AVGO. Got room on it. Strong on the market's not. Dollar stop. All right, let's try it, guys. AVGO. Um, 246. Here it is. AVGO. 246 by 245.25. Um, share size for order hour. filled. One hour stop. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get a move out of this thing. Um, that'd be nice to get a full winner today, but uh, things are just. On 
second. Just happened. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So AVGO, we we kind of we need a lot on guys. If we can break the two four, and we need almost two about a dollar fifty on this thing, which is which is a lot. Um, yeah, that's what we need. Hopefully, we'll get it. AVGO target is two forty seven fifty area. I'm probably gonna dump half at one R if I'm being honest, guys. Um, CAVM, look at SPLK, guys. Ripping. CAVM. Yeah, over 84.50, not bad. Deck is coming in. Man, that GPS was was the bee's knees today, guys. Right there, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We made money off it, but not the kind of money we should have made off of it. Come on, baby. Order filled. All right, guys. Let's get those stops up to 245.75. AVGO stop to 245.75. Okay? Come on, baby. Hopefully, this thing will continue and we can get a little bit of a move out of it. Like I said, I'm probably going to take half at 1R if we get there, which is basically 247 area. Uh, we still have some work to do yet. Okay. Um, come on, RVL. Man, that HIV, guys. Come on now. It's a perfect pattern. I got to take a picture of it. That's how nice it is. No exaggeration. I got to take a picture of it. That's how nice that pattern is. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Look at that. All right, beautiful on the hip. Wow, wide range green bar on the spy. Um, AVGO. I want to go to break even on this thing, but I think that's a little tight, guys. I'm going to go 245.90 on it, okay? Hopefully that holds. It's really tight, like super tight. So AVGO stop to 245.90. Hopefully it holds. Um, OAS. Yeah, let's, let's see it set up a little bit, though, right? I don't want to just trade it under 12. Right? We need a pattern at 12. But yes, I agree. Totally agree with you, um, Lawrence and Aaron. But I want to see a pattern at 12. I'm not just going to randomly get in this thing uh, at 12. But, um, yep. Man, SPLK. Remember I said it looks higher? Sure as shit. I think took off, man. It's a, too aggressive for me to trade there. It's, uh, you know, 114.18, but... Mm. But yeah, let's watch OAS. I love the relative weakness on OAS. Really nice. I want to get a 10 cent stop on it though. You know, on OAS. The spy guys is sitting. Um, okay, never mind. I thought it was sitting at resistance. It's not. Um, the Qs, on the other hand, look at the Qs real quick. Bring this out to the 60. Look where we're at, guys, on the queues. Right at the top. We're at some resistance. So expect, you know. All right, guys. I'm going to do it. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to go even on AVGO. Okay. I don't want to. I'm doing it. Trying to mitigate Friday. It's actually been an okay week. Up 4R. Um, if I hit 
market right now on AVGO will be up over an R today, and that'll be a five R week, which is what I'm shooting for. Um, you know, so hopefully deck or not deck. Did I say deck? Not AVGO. Hopefully AVGO can rip. Um, deck. Yeah, watch it. It needs more time because it's pulling in here a little bit. But yeah, watch deck. Um, all right, we might get tagged here, guys, on the uh, AVGO. All right, went 67 cents. Remember, I share sized for a dollar, guys. That's why that's not one R up here. I share sized for a dollar. That's why, okay? Um, MRVL. Double bottom. You can watch it. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad. Maybe uh, 22.35. What I don't like is it took a monster move in the market for MRVL to bounce. That's my only concern, Aaron. Otherwise, you know. Um, PSX. Lock target once. Wow, you guys doing a, a pretty good job on PSX. Well done. That was a nice play under 116. You know, nice little play there. Um, where was it? 00 by 50. Yeah, nice. You know, it went down about 50 cents. Yates is kind of just mitigating the risk there. Unwall's in data. And you know what? Data's moving it. Guys, this thing is really thin. I'm actually really surprised. He's traded two really thin stocks this week. Um, so just have to be careful with the spread and slippage, guys. You know what I mean? I mean, the spread on this thing is, is no joke. You know? Um, AVGO, guys, we're going to get tagged at even on this thing. All right? It's unfortunate. I'd really love to see this thing pop. You know, catch its, catch its breath here and pivot and go higher. Uh, but I, I have a feeling we're going to get tagged at even. Just a, a hunch. It's been happening a lot this past week and a half. Um, watch the Qs at 169.85, guys. Okay? Watch the QQQ over 169.85 on a 5-minute 3 bar play. Okay? Take a look at the Qs. Right there. It's at the high. Wide bar, narrow bar, blast off. Right? That is a textbook 3 bar play. Wide bar takes out everything to the left. Narrow bar rest and the third bar goes. Come on, AVGO. Come on, baby. Take another 25 if it'll fill me. Order filled. Right, there we go. There we go. Come on, AVGO. There we go. Guys, like I said, I'm going to take... I'm going to offer filled. some out here, guys. All right. I'm out half AVGO. There, guys. All right. Now I'm going to wait for the 247.50 area. And hopefully we'll get it. I gotta do a better job managing my trades, man. Lately, I've been really nickel and diming these things, guys. Really nickel and diming these things. All right. So your stop's gonna be 246.05 now, guys, okay? Target is still 247.50 out half, okay? So, out half AVGO at 246.80 average. No, not out all, out half, Jared. There we go, out half, okay. Stop to 246.10, target to 247.49, okay. Tempted to walk on it, call it a day. Wow, it's coming right back down too. Yeah, it's tempted to, to just take one R and walk. But we'll make a half hour on this, guys, if it stops. Okay, we'll make a half hour on this if it stops. All right. Netflix testing all. I said I read some article this morning that said Netflix is more valuable than Comcast. I'm sorry, Disney. My bad. Did I say Comcast? Netflix is more valuable than Disney. Netflix, guys. They must use the Elon Musk approach to making money. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad company. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, what is going on with tech companies now? People are just going nuts. Guys, GPS. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I'm going to dump AVGO on a pop over 247. Okay, I'm going to just take one R from this thing. If this thing pops 247, I'm going to just take an R on it. Okay. See if it pops 247. 
I'm just I'm gonna just take an R on it. All right, I'm I'm halfway tempted to take it here, honestly. Give us about an R and a half for the day, maybe a little less than an R and a half for the day. All right. Let's see if it'll, it'll take that. Nope, it didn't take that. Twenty-five. All right. So, all right, we'll see what happens. Order nice. filled. There we go. All right. It just took it. Just took it. Okay. All right. Out, guys. Out AVGO. Got 174 bucks out of it on about 150 to $200 risk, right? Our, we share sized for a dollar, but our stop was 75 cents. That makes sense. So kind of the in-between. So maybe an R out of it, give or take. And uh, that means today was exactly an R and a half for me. All right. So here's the exit on AVGO. Well, AVGO at 246.90 average. Okay, or one on. Looks like it's gonna hit the R and a half. Look at the spread though, man. Wow, 30 cent spread on this thing. Yeah, but you know, it, it, it was and it wasn't, right, right Dwayne? Meaning the, the list worked great, but I only made an R and a half today. And, and I did, I'm exactly where I should be, I suppose, um, but that I did it the wrong way. Like I, I did, I got there the wrong way. Uh, guys, I'm up exactly an R and a half. I'm up exactly three hundred dollars and two cents. All right, on two hundred dollar risk. Uh, this week was five and a half R, eleven hundred bucks um, on two hundred risk. I, like I said, June I'll go to three. July I'll go to four. I want to show you guys the process here. Okay, it was nine R three weeks ago. Okay, it was two and a half R last week and five and a half R this week. All right, so that's, I don't know, do the math. Um, let's see, six, eight plus nine, um, five, so yeah, that's right. 17 R in three weeks, okay? And we have one more week to go. Hopefully it's another five R week and we'll get 22 R this month, hopefully, right? Um, again, I'm doing it to show you guys you can go from small $50 risk and slowly work your way up. Now, in fairness, I'm not slowly working my way up. I'm doing it very quickly, right? Very quickly. You guys would take probably two years to do this process. Why? Because you need to show three months of consistency, then raise, then raise, then raise, then raise. Um, but right now, I'm doing it quickly just to prove a point to you. It's not the level of risk, guys. Um, it's, how, it's how you trade. All right, it's how you trade. And also, as I've said before, you can check it out on YouTube. Every single one of my trading days the last three weeks is on YouTube, okay? Uh, and it still is at this moment because I'm recording right this very second. So to the YouTube folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good one, guys.